everyone, thank you so much for watching. So today I created this very soft eye makeup look using my Milani Earthy Elements eyeshadow palette. And I already have applied my eyeshadow base, so I'm just setting that in place. For my transition color, I will be applying that nude orange eyeshadow tone and applying it on my crease. Now I am taking that orange eyeshadow tone and placing it right below my outer corners of my eyes and I'm blending that towards the inner corners of my eyes. So just keep blending until you see that it's nicely blended so you don't look like you have an orange patch in your eye. Now I am taking that shimmery color and applying it on my eyelid. And then I'm going again to make sure that everything is nicely blended and that all the colors look connected to one another. And I am taking that orange eyeshadow tone and placing it on my waterline, below my waterline, and I'm just adding that as a pop of color, but I am going to blend that out as well. Now I am taking a pencil brush and applying that shimmery white eyeshadow and placing it just in the inner corners of my eyes. So that's just going to be added as a highlight. And then I'm going with my white jumbo pencil from NYX and outlining my waterline to make it look more awake because who doesn't want to look more awake? And then I am going with my Maybelline Spider Effect Mascara and applying that on my eyelashes, of course. And I am seriously in love with this mascara. It makes your eyelashes look so long. I mean, look at that. And for my bottom lashes, I am using Remo Lash Accelerator. And the reason why I use two mascaras for my upper lashes and my bottom lashes is because the mascara such as the Remo Lash Accelerator has a finer brush so you can get into those tiny spaces between your bottom lashes. So that's the reason why. For blush, I'm using Milani Baked Blush Luminoso. And for highlight, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dark Glow Kit. And I'm using a Morphe fan brush to apply that. For lipstick, I am using Milani Matte Naked. And for liquid lipstick, I am using Echo Part from Colourpop. And I'm just applying that in the center of my lips. And as always, I'm just spraying some set spray so my makeup can last longer and we are done. Let me know what you think of this makeup look and what would you like to see next. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel and I see you on my next one.